Hello viewers, welcome to Simplified Maths Class. Simplified Maths Class it is, and my name is Mr. Mike Omini, and today we'll be taking the topic longitude and latitude. Now, the earth is spherical in nature, as you have seen in this diagram, and there are lines, imaginary lines, that run around the earth. This line, some of them run from the northern to the southern hemisphere, Why some run from the west to the east. Now, it is with the help of these lines that objects fly around the earth. They follow these lines. Say, for instance, aeroplanes fly through these lines to get to their destinations. And they maintain these lines during their course of travel. And that is why you hardly find an aeroplane colliding with another aeroplane on air. Because they have their unique lines they fly through. Now, these lines are either the lines of longitude or the lines of latitude. Now, the lines that run from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere and are either measured west or east of the Greenwich Meridian. These lines are referred to as the lines of meridian. These are the lines that run from the north to the south and are measured east or west. So, they are longitudinal lines. They are called longitudinal lines. They are also called the great circles and they are also called the meridian lines, the meridians, the lines of meridians. All right, these are the meridian lines. These lines run from the northern to the southern hemisphere. That's how they run and they are measured east or west. So you either have them as 30 degrees east or maybe 40 degrees west and so, so they are measured east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. Now we also have these other lines that run from the east to the west. East to the west. Right. But are measured either north or south of the equator. These lines are referred to as the lines of longitude. These are the lines we are talking about, these ones here. So these lines are referred to as the latitudinal lines. They are also referred to as the small circles. All right? Or parallels of latitude. Parallels of latitude. This one is meridians of longitude. All right? Please take note of that. So, with the help of these lines, around the world. All right. Now, so we are going to be finding the distances between two or more towns along the great circles or along the small circles all right but please take note the equator is always zero degrees and the equator is the only parallels of latitude that is referred to as the great circle now remember parallels of latitude run this way and they are small circles but the one that passes through the center which is the equator is also referred to as a great circle but because of course when you take an orange and Bisected at the center, it gives you a great circle. So they are referred to as the great circles. All right, so without waste of time, we'll be going straight to computation of distances along the great circles. So how do we find the distances along the great circles? That's what we want to go into. So the great circles. All right. Now, the distance between two or more towns, or the distance between two towns, between two places along the great circle, the great circle, of course, which is the meridians of longitude, is given by the formula the distance between town, let's say P to Q, will be equals to theta all over 360 times 2 pi a big R. Please take note of that. Where theta, where theta is the difference in, the difference in latitude. Theta is the difference in latitude. And of course, we all know pi, pi has a value which is 22 over 7 or 3.142 is constant and then we have the big r which is the radius of the earth 
it is approximately 6,400 kilometers. That's the radius of the Earth. All right, so we are going to take a sample problem where we are going to find the distance between two places on the surface of the Earth. So let's take that. Let's take an example. A bird flew from A. All right, and A is found on longitude 30 degrees east and let's say latitude in 5 degrees north to so another town B alright which is on that same 30 degrees east um, 15 degrees, let's say 15 degrees um, south, and arrive its destination after two days. All right, so we should compute or calculate I. The distance AB along the meridians, along the meridians of longitude, and then II, let's see, the speed of the bed in kilometers per hour. All right. Now, We've been asked to take pi to be 22 over 7, and of course, big R to be 6,400 kilometers. Without waste of time, we're going to solve this problem. All right, so this is it. We have the north, south, east, and west. And they say the bed flew from A, 30 degrees east. All right, so this is 30 degrees east. When you hear east or west, that's the lines of longitude. So this is 30 degrees east. And 45 degrees north. So this is, when you hear north or south, that's the latitude line. So this is 45 degrees north. So the intersection of the longitude and the latitude gives you where the town is. So this is the town. Call it A. Now to another town, B, 30 degrees east, so still on that 30 degrees east, but 15 degrees south, the latitude is in the southern side. So let's take this to be 15 degrees south. So the intersection of this latitude and the longitude will give you the second town. So this is town B. All right. So we've been asked to find the distance from this town A to this town B. Measured along, of course, the two towns are along the meridians of longitude, which is the great circle. So we want to find the distance between A and B. And of course, we know the formula. So we'll go straight to the computation. All right, so the distance the distance from A to B, of course, is theta all over 360 times 2 pi a big R. Okay, now the theta is a difference in latitude. Theta is difference in latitude. Now, remember that they are both on the same longitude of 30 degrees east, but there are differences in latitude is a 45 degrees north, which is 45 degrees north, and the other one is 15 degrees south. That's where they are lying on different places. All right. So when we see north and south, on light poles, they are trapped. But if it was 45 degrees north and then 15 degrees north, they are now light poles. They repel. So we would have used minus. So when we have north and south, we add. But if you have north, north, 
we subtract. If you have south, south, we subtract. Take note of that. So since they are on light pole, south and north, they attract. It becomes positive. So our theta now will be 45 plus 15, which is 60 degrees. So we apply that in the formula. So we are going to have theta, which is 60 degrees, all over 360 times 2 times pi. Of course, 22 over 7. It was given and then times the radius of the earth, which is 6,400 kilometers. All right, so we are going to multiply all this. So we have 60 times 2 times 22, 60 times 2 times 22 times 6,400. So we are going to have 1689600. All right, so divided by 360 times 7 will give us 2520. So we are going to divide by 2520. So we are going to have 6704, 6704.76 kilometers. So it therefore means that the distance, the distance from A to B is this in kilometers. We have computed the distance. That was the I part. And then the I, I they say we should compute the speed of the bed. The speed of that bed, speed is the rate of change of distance moved with time so when we divide the distance by the time it means we are calculating the speed so the distance has been computed to be 6704.76 we want to divide by the time the time was given two days they say two days now to convert two days to hours how many hours makes a day 24 hours so we multiply the two by 24 to convert it to hours because we we're given two days and every day has 24 hours. So 2 times 24 will give us hours because our speed is in kilometers per hour. So we have 6704.76 divided by 2 times 24 is 48. So let's divide that by 48. So we'll have 139.7. So we're going to have 139.7 kilometers per hour so this is the speed of that bed the speed of that bed is 139.7 kilometers per hour it means that the bed covers 139.7 kilometers every hour it's that simple all right so without waste of time this is how we compute distances along the great circles all right so we'll go straight to distances along the small circles after that then we'll know how to compute um the total length of journey when you're given a question that combines both so that is for great circles the only difference here is sometimes you'll be giving questions where you have not or not 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 so you subtract that's just a different but if it is not south for their difference in latitude you add it's as simple as that all right, so we'll take the second one, distances along the small circles. Distances along the small circles. So we have small circles. 